everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna do my 26 week pregnancy update. 26 weeks today, very exciting. Um, that means 14 weeks left if we you know, don't go too late or early. But, um, so that's exciting. Basically this week, um, not much has changed. I'm getting bigger. It's getting my nightmare things at night. Like I'm having these like crazy dreams that kind of keep me up and I keep waking myself up, um, reprimanding Fia in my sleep. So I'll be like, wake up and be like, ah, Fia, no, don't eat that. And then I'll, I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> and sometimes I think she hears me because in the other room she's like, ah. <laughs> so um, that's really funny. But um, so my dreams are getting really more vivid and real and kind of keeping me up at night, which is not so much fun. Um, that's okay. Um, definitely peeing at night. Like, I'll get up when I hear Fia, and I, and then I'll realize I have to pee, so I go like three times a night probably. But if Fia didn't wake me up, I wouldn't, I'd probably go once. Um, let's see what else. We are pretty stressed out for the holidays. Um, it's getting so close. My husband's birthday is like two days after Thanksgiving. We do a big Thanksgiving and then Fia's birthday is the next weekend and then her cousin's birthday is the next weekend and then Christmas and oh, it's all getting very kind of stressful at this point because money is tight and we're um, trying to figure out how we're going to get gifts and all that so that's been really kind of stressful and interesting and Fia got over her cold but then I started to get a cold. When was that? Monday I started to feel a cold and then I took okay this sounds really gross but I ate a piece of garlic like just a garlic clove and I like chewed it up and I like tried not to taste it and then I swallowed it and chugged it with a bunch of water and then I also took elderberry syrup and I did that the next day too and my cold is gone like completely gone I started to get it on Monday like slightly and then didn't really have symptoms on Tuesday except at night so I did it again and then today it's completely gone. So that's awesome. So highly, highly recommend garlic and elderberry syrup. I don't know which one worked, but um, when Fia had her cold, we gave her elderberry syrup towards the end. Um, well, became the end. And the um, doctor was saying that, you know, the cough might linger and last a while, a couple weeks. Elderberry syrup, gone. It's gone. Her cough totally gone in two days maybe three days after giving her the syrup. It's amazing. So I don't know about you guys, but we're gonna start making elderberry syrup because it's super expensive to buy, um, but cheap to make. So we're gonna start doing that because awesome. And we're also, I'm gonna start making her diaper cream and stuff because I use the Angel. I started, I don't know if you guys remember, but I talked about how Fia has horrible diaper rash and um, I couldn't figure out anything that helped. We, I mean, we did antibiotics, we did desitin, we did Burt's Bees cream, we did, I stripped her diapers over and over and I think I have to strip them again because she is starting to get a little bit red again. But, um, the, and then she had like these pimples and it didn't look like normal rash, but I know what a yeast rash looks like and it didn't look like that either. And so I was just getting so frustrated and I took her to the doctor and it was months of this. And then I started take, using the Earth Mama Baby Bottom Balm, I think it's called, and it's gone, completely gone. And it, as long as I slather that on at night and before every diaper change, she doesn't get really red. I mean, sometimes she'll get a little bit red, but no like blisters and pimples and whatever she was getting before, nothing, nothing. It's amazing. So I was looking at the ingredients and I'm like, I think I could probably make this. So. We're gonna try making that too. So if anybody's interested in me making elderberry syrup and um, uh, the diaper rash cream, and we're also, we also make our own toothpaste and deodorant because we like to save money. Um, and it's also less chemicals. So, wow, I'm really rambling on this video. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Sorry guys. But okay, so pregnancy has made me more talkative too, apparently. Um, but yeah, so just let me know and I'll do videos on those. Um, what else this week? 
yeah, basically just stressful and I guess I needed to vent. Um, yeah. But other than that, my energy is good. I do take a nap, try to take a nap every day when Fia does. Um, and no more baby buys because we're trying to save money for the holidays. Scrimp and scrounge where we can. So, um, yeah. But anyways, um, I hope you guys are all doing great. I love watching your videos. And I'll see you next week. Here's Bye. my belly at 26 weeks. I think you can see maybe it's growing. My belly button at night looks like it's going to pop out, but during the day it's not really like that. I look much bigger at night when gravity is taking over. Oh, well, it kind of looks like it's going to pop out. See the top? <laughs> so funny. And my love handles are increasing. I need to get exercise, guys. So, um, I'll talk to you next week. Bye.